So the first thing we're going to do is preheat our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 175 degrees Celsius. Alright guys, what you're going to need to make this is 2 cups of flour, 3 overripe bananas, 1 teaspoon baking soda, 1 fourth teaspoon salt, 1 half cup butter, 2 eggs to beat. And you're going to need about a fourth of a cup of either Nutella's or Justin's hazelnut butter. This one has less sugar, so this is the one I normally use, but it's a lot more expensive. So today I'm going to use a mixture of both of these. Place your two cups of flour in the bowl. Combine flour, baking soda, and salt. Next, add a handful of roasted pecans. You're going to mash your bananas and eggs together. I'm using a potato masher for this step. We're going to set this aside for a second, and in this bowl, we're going to melt our chocolate and our butter together in the microwave. If you don't have a microwave, you can simply do this on the stove on a very, very, very low heat or in a double boiler. And this is why I don't put any sugar in it, because this Nutella already has a ton of sugar in it. Alright, and in order to microwave the Nutella, because I know it does say on the back of it, do not microwave, um, that's because it's chocolate and it will burn. If you're microwaving this, you need to turn your microwave down to 50% setting, and you need to microwave it every 15 seconds and stir it in between. And then microwave it for just another 15 seconds. Now you're going to stir the mashed bananas and eggs into this. When it's about halfway stirred, that's when I add the butter and Nutella. Alright, then I bake it for about 20 to 30 minutes. And what I do is I keep checking. It's 100 to 25 minutes. So just anywhere between 20 to 30 minutes. Hey guys, so this one took about 25 minutes to make, and I'm already enjoying a piece. It's simply delicious. If you make it, let me know. Bye!